Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie for a card tutorial. We're going to make a card together and I'm so excited to see you. I'm just going to check like I always do to make sure I'm live with all my technology and everything. I'm never sure if it's working, so let's see here. Okay, it looks like we're live. Good, good. This is good. I'm so happy. Happy Friday. Oh, I love Fridays. Don't you love Fridays? The last day of the week. It's always fun. And we can just relax. And I know for some of you are back east, and so it's early evening for you. For us, it's 4 o'clock, but still kind of early evening. And hi, Ross. Good to see you, Tammy. Good to see you. So we are just going to have fun this evening and make a fun card. Um, but I have to tell you, we usually talk about the weather. It is raining in Southern California. We are so thankful. It's not, it hasn't been a hard rain at all. It's been a nice soft rain all day. They thought it would be, it's from a hurricane, I guess. And they thought it would be, hi baby. They thought it would be hard and lots of wind, but I haven't seen that myself here in northern San Diego County. Um, I don't know about some other areas. We usually watch the news on TV at 5, and so we'll see if it was. But, um, oh, we're so thankful, and the temperature has come down. The only bad thing about it is the humidity has gone way up. We're having this tropical weather, and... In San Diego, we are not used to this. So the thermometer said like 70 something and we're, we're all just sweating and oh my gosh, we are not used to it. It's like 80 plus percent humidity. Marsha, good to see you. You're still in the hospital, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, Roz, we need that rain. Um, we definitely need it. And so we are so thankful, very, very thankful for the rain. Um, and now make sure that you put the word prize, okay? If you um, if you want the prize for today, I'm not going to show it to you till the end of our time together. But if you're interested, put the word prize in the comments. And welcome to my YouTube people. I had trouble connecting on Wednesday to YouTube for some reason. Um, it wouldn't connect live. I posted a, a replay. But I think it's live today, so hi to all my YouTube people. Good to see you. And another thing I'm really happy about, football season. I love football season. I was raised with a father who loved football. He loved college football. Um, he went to USC, and so I always root for USC. Um, but we have San Diego State down here too, and uh, we have, you know, we watch the pro teams. Thankfully, my husband likes football too, and my daughter likes football. So I'm always happy when it's football season, I'm telling you. And so we've got football to watch, and fall is coming, you know, it's right around the corner on the calendar, and also temperature wise. Hopefully, it's going to cool down a little bit more for us here. Um, so, good to see you guys. Well, you can tell Ellie is buggy to get down. She, I had to pick her up out of her bed. She was sleeping, you know. You guys have seen the tour in my craft room tour. She was sleeping in her uh, bed with her pink leopard print blanket. And so, she wants to go back to that now. So, <laughs> Okay, announcements. Guess what? I am so close. We are so close. You guys have helped me do it. Win the YouTube candy. It's coming. It's coming. I wanted to get, um, let me get this on the correct side over here. I wanted to get 2,100 subscribers to my YouTube channel. And guess what? I have 2,088. So I only have, if my math is right, 12 more. 12 more people so if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe and when i hit 2100 which should be this next week or the week after hopefully this is a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and i am going to give it away to one of you we're going to have a special youtube 
Um, I'm going to do it over there, and we're going to do the Wheel of Names so everybody can see their name on there spinning around. And I have to get that figured out in the next week or so. But if you haven't subscribed, please go over to my YouTube channel, Pretty Paper Cards, and subscribe over there. It's no problem. Nobody hounds you. Nothing even happens. Um, you just, I think somehow when you go on YouTube, you find out that I have posted a new uh, video. But it, anyway, I am super excited. So thank those of you who have already subscribed. I really appreciate it. I'm just getting so excited. Okay. Next announcement, um, Perfect Partners. Um, I've been telling you about that. That is going on at Stampin' Up! during the month of September. Six brand new die sets that are only available in September. They go with existing stamp sets. Um, if you have the stamp sets, you can buy the dies separate. If you don't, you can buy everything as a bundle at 10% off. And I'll just read them out. The Apple Blossom dies that you've seen me use several times, and I'm, I was using them earlier today, not on this card we're going to do, but um, Apple Blossom dies go with the Apple Harvest stamp set, Fresh Cut Flowers, um, Fresh Cut Flowers uh, stems dies go with the Fresh Cut Flowers stamp set if you have it. The Piggies are a big hit the birthday piggies and they have dies now you won't want to miss those because they won't come back they may eventually be in the clearance rack i don't know but all of this is while supplies last um the trimming the tree stamp set has dies trimming the tea tree tree trimming dies okay and uh, 10 percent off as a bundle waterfall dies i know some of you really love that waterfall stamp set and you'll want these dies. And there are so many dies. I mentioned this on Wednesday. The waterfall dies, 31 dies. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a ton of dies. And then Yeti to party. The Yeti dies to go with the Yeti to party stamp set. Oh, that little guy is so cute. Okay. Um, and then uh, the final announcement is the... Um, Hi, Carol Schaefer. Good to see you. Holly, good to see you. Weekly deals. Every week in September, new weekly deals. Um, so this week, I didn't feature anything today. I'm not featuring anything on our card we're making. But I did on um, Wednesday, I made a card using the Slimline envelopes, which are on sale. It's all 20% off every item. There are eight, eight, nine, 10, 11 items. And uh, let me just, I will just turn you down here so that you can see these items. Let's see. Okay, there you go. That way you can see, because if you want some of this, I don't want you to miss it. And it's, I believe it's Thursday to Thursday. Okay, they just came out yesterday. Texture Chic Memories and More Pack. Um, texture chic memories and more cards and envelopes. I am thinking about those. Those are very cute. It's nice to have cards and, and envelopes that are already decorated on hand. Um, trinkets, flower trinkets, rose gold foil, um, soft succulent satin trim, satin shimmer ribbon, and these are the slimline envelopes. Um, normally $10, marked down to nine. The white frayed ribbon, which had been on back order for a while. Um, snowy white velvet sheets. You might want that for the holidays. Definitely the real red ruffled ribbon is a great holiday thing. Soft pastels assortments. I have never used the soft pastels. Um, some of you might have, but I never have. And fresh freesia open weave ribbon. Love, love. Okay, so those are the, those are the weekly deals. Now today, um, let me see if I can get my this just a little bit more focused. I've got my little computer there in the in the corner. Whoops. I'll get it all straight for you here. Okay, so one thing we're going to do today is we're going to use things from different... We're not using things from a bundle or a suite. We're going to use different pieces, parts to make a pretty card. And I found that these two designer series papers go beautifully together. I don't know if any of you noticed this or not. This beautiful petal pink stripe is from Abig the Abigail Rose 
designer series paper, which is one of my favorites in the annual catalog. I love it. This is a beautiful paper, surprisingly, from the Autumn Harvest paper. I think it's called Autumn Harvest. Let me check. Rustic Harvest. Rustic Harvest. This is on the back. But this, I think they go beautifully together. So we're going to make a card today. This color is Cajun Craze, which is a color that I always use and bring out around the fall. And then this is Petal Pink, and they look so pretty together. I'm really anxious for you uh, to see what we're going to do today. Okay, and here's the card. And I, my goal is always, and it is today, to show you a card <clears throat> that you can use with any color, paper, ink, anything. And so today's card is a little fancy fold. It's called a book binding fold. And I even decorated the inside, which I don't always. So this is the book binding fold. And here I've put our pretty Cajun craze, and here is the petal pink stripe. And so I'm going to show you how to do this book binding fold and how to score your card. So if you want to take notes um, on the measurements, I always put it on the YouTube, or at least I try to remember, and on my um, blog when I post these things, which will be tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not sure which day. So I'm going to show you how to score your uh your card base to make the book binding fold. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of basic white cardstock, and it's from an eight and a half by 11, and you just cut it in half lengthwise. So it's four and a quarter by 11 long. Okay, and then we're going to score it. This is my uh, Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. If you don't have one, you need it. It's the best trimmer. So normally, you would score at half. Oh, there's just a little mark right there. Normally you would score at half of 11, which is five and a half. So we are going to do that. I'm going to use the gray blade, which is the score blade, five and a half, and then we're going to score at four and a half. So we're going to just go down one inch to four and a half and score right there. And that's all there is to it. Okay. And I'm just going to put my paper trimmer down there. And so then we're going to um, just fold and burnish. And now when you fold, sometimes the edges don't come out even. So what I try to do is put the edges where I want them and then use my bone folder to just make that little adjustment when I burnish. Okay, so we've got it folded in half at five and a half. And now we're going to go ahead and fold on that four and a half line and we're going to come back this way. And I like to line it up at the bottom because that means I'm going to, it's not going to go off toward Jones's, you know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and burnish that. And now this is our book binding fold. Easy peasy, right? So in order to get it um, sealed down, I'm going to use glue, but some people like to use tear and tape or um, any adhesive that you have, but I'm just going to use a little bit of glue, that's really all it takes, to seal that, and that will just stay down now, and so your card will be opening like that. And you have what ends up to be, a, remember, a four and a half inch area on the inside of your card. Okay, so we're ready to go. Pretty easy. All righty. So we have our two pieces of paper. Now I went ahead and pre-cut, but I'm going to tell you the measurements. <clears throat> we already know that this is four and a quarter. The distance from one to the other side is four and a quarter. We know this is four and a half, okay? So that's the size paper I that I cut. Now the only little trick is you might want to cut just the tiniest hair less on one edge because you don't want it to go over that fold line and make a make a bad wrinkle type of a thing. 
and it's so pretty on the other side. I really do hate to use it, but I love the petal pink stripe. I don't know about you guys. Allison, good to see you. It's okay that you're late. Tina, good to see you. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right there, just a little. I have to bring it right up to my eyeballs. Okay, and that will just glue down. So there is the book part that opens with our pretty petal pink stripe. And then I've cut a piece. Remember, we already know that this is one inch by four and a quarter. And so I went ahead and cut that and we'll just glue that down. And we are gonna have a pretty base to do any kind of decorating that we want. And that is what I, my goal is, again, is you can make this you can make your base out of any cardstock you want or out of white like I did and just decorate it to your heart's content. I give you a sample of how it would be cute, but you can do anything you like. And there is your book binding fancy fold. I love it. Thank you, Kay. I love both of these designer series papers and I'm so glad that I discovered that they go beautifully together. Okay, now what we're gonna do today is we are going to use the Natural Prints dies. Um, and I already have my, my dies out. I just bring this to show you all the others. We are going to use this beautiful, one of my favorite label dies ever is in the Natural Prints die set. We're gonna use that today. And we're going to use the wreath. It has a great, big, beautiful wreath that I think looks really pretty on in Cajun Craze cardstock. So it's a big die, so we have to use the uh, the Mr. Big stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I have more new plates. I did so much uh, die cutting with my last class that I had to even use new plates. I love getting new plates. I don't know about you guys. So here's a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock, and here's our wreath. We're going to go ahead and just put that through. Now, I am going to go um, forward and then backward because it is kind of an intricate die, and I want to be sure we get the right... Um, I want to make sure we get it cut well, and it did cut very well, so there we go. Let's get that off of there. And we'll pull off our wreath, and the inside is going to pop out. Let's see, I'm going to get some scissors here just to very gently pop that up. That's what happens with the new plates. I hope that stays there. Okay, and we'll pop out our inside. And here's our little wreath. It isn't little really, it's it's kind of a large wreath. And let's make sure we have all the pieces parts out. That's what makes it so pretty is when these little pieces come out and then it makes it look, look delicate. I just love it. I love this wreath. It's a beautiful wreath for a full size card. Okay, let's get out our um, book binding fold. And the wreath does tend to be a little elongated, I noticed. Um, so I think I'll just put it, let's see how we think it might look best. Maybe it's because I pulled it a different direction. I don't know. Let's see. I think that looks kind of good. And then it's not a big deal to, there's a little spot I need to poke out, a little tiny spot. Um, to glue it down, you do not need to glue every single place, okay? We are just going to put dots just where we know they won't show or where the glue won't come out. We just don't need that much glue. Just a, That's even probably a bit too much. Just a tiny bit of glue on the larger areas. And that's really all you need. And then this is always my tip, and that is when you put it down, don't move it, okay? Put it down and then just leave it there because it's when you start moving it that it gets weird. Okay, there we go. Now, what we are gonna do for our card is, um, this is our sample, I'm gonna hold it back up. 
we are going to color some ribbon and I've done this before with you and I love doing it so we're gonna do it again so I've got out my silicone mat and I'm gonna use my um, crinkled seam binding quarter inch ribbon and I'm gonna use petal pink because we know that's the color in our <clears throat> in our designer series paper I could have used um, Cajun Craze, the dark, but I thought it was too dark. We've got quite a bit of Cajun Craze going on there. So I'm just going to use my uh, Petal Pink Dark Stampin' Blend and just color the ribbon. You don't need to do both sides. You only need to do one side because this is nice thin ribbon. It goes right through. And you guys know I really like ribbon and I love when I have a ribbon that just matches. We do have another petal pink ribbon, and I played around with it today. I'll even show you. It's um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and it's kind of it feels kind of like suede. It's called soft polyester ribbon, but it just wasn't delicate enough. I even put a bow on the card, and I just it, I thought it I just thought it wasn't delicate enough. It looked too heavy. For the cards so that's why I went over to this and we'll just cut that off and now what we're gonna do it dries like instant practically instantly so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment and I don't know about you guys but I have so many October birthdays my own birthdays even in October <clears throat> and I I tend to like people <laughs> that have October birthdays. I like people with other birthdays, but it just seems like so many of my friends have October birthdays. So I always need a lot of birthday cards in October. So that's what I've been doing today, actually, is making a whole bunch of birthday cards. Oh, Siomara, good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. So I am using uh, the Happy Birthday Sentiment from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. This has some nice size sentiments. It's a it's a go to for me. It has thank you, sympathy, congratulations. It's just a really great all around stamp set. So I just snatch this up, and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp first, and then I'm going to use my pretty die. So. There's our sentiment, quick and easy. And here's that pretty label die that we're gonna use. And again, I have the big Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, so we'll bring that guy right back up here. A few little crumbs left from our previous die cutting. Let's get those off. Okay. Oh, there's my top. Okay. So we're going to put this on. Let me pull it up a little bit more so you can see it. And where did my die go? Okay. And this is just such a pretty die. And look at that sentiment. It fits really nicely right inside that little kind of circular area. Let me bring it down just a bit. Okay. Let's see if we can do this right. Okay. Roll that through. You use that one a lot, Tammy. Yes, it's a great die. Look how pretty that came out. I'm just going to hold it up to you. It has kind of a beveled edge, kind of an embossed edge. Very, very pretty. I just really like that. And now we have the sentiment to go across here and we've got our ribbon now i'm going to do what um i'm going to use some glue dots and make kind of a little bow here but i'm not going to tie it in a knot because then it would be too hard to attach the sentiment over it and i'll show you what i mean so you just this is what kind of a popular thing they're doing right now and I like it because I like ribbons and I like bows and so you just kind of put your ribbon down in a bow type of form and then when you put your sentiment over it 
it'll work fine, but you haven't tied a knot there. So here are my glue dots, and I'm just going to use a few little glue dots. And what I found is that if I just start putting the glue dots on, it it works. It'll just hold it down. I think the last time I used about four of them. And you want to have your bow not going the same direction as your sentiment. So the sentiment's going to go like this, so I'm going to do my, my bow at an angle. Okay, let's get another glue dot. And I want to bring this one back right about there so that my tails are kind of coming out from under um, my sentiment like that. Now that ought to work. And let me see, I might need to get some, here are my dimensionals, okay. So we're gonna put two dimensionals on the back of our little sentiment here. Just one on each end, and that way they'll go over the ribbon. They won't sit on the ribbon. And I think that ribbon looks pretty nice. It's it Doesn't it look nice and delicate the way we colored it? It doesn't stand out, it's not, it's not too bold. And this just goes right across the middle of your wreath there. And then we'll trim our little tails just a bit. Let's get this one up here. I like, I like to have ribbon that's not just perfect, perfect. Sometimes, sometimes I want it perfect, sometimes I don't. But this time it's meant to be a little fun. Now we're going to add some brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And these come in three colors. It's kind of like gold, copper, or rose gold. And then this one is kind of a gray look. And I thought this beautiful rose gold looked so pretty with these colors. So what I'm gonna do is put one of these on each end and it's easy to know where to put them because you can see the little label comes in there, kind of a little bit of an arrow kind of a look. And so I'm just putting these right inside there. Isn't that cute? I really, I really think it's cute, but we're not finished. We still need to decorate the inside. This time I decided to decorate the inside because there's a sentiment that I really liked. And I went ahead and pre-cut the paper, I think. Um, I went ahead and pre-cut this um, with, some of the, with one of the scallop contour dies, okay? And I have an extra one in case I make a mistake, because I'm always concerned I, make a mis I might make a mistake. So we'll go ahead and use the Cajun Craze ink again. And the inside sentiment I'm going to use from the same stamp set and it says wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. I just think that's uh, quite a nice inside sentiment. So we'll go ahead and stamp it. If I can get right in the middle, let's see if I can. Let me get it up a little bit close to my face here. Oh, it's a little crooked. Ugh, that's why I did an extra one. Okay, trying again. We could turn it over, but then it, the little scallops, in fact, that is upside down. Okay, now let's see. Let me see if I can get it more straight this time. Well, it's not perfect, but it's better. So we'll go ahead and go with that one. Okay, and I went ahead and cut a little, just so it coord the inside coordinates with the outside, I cut a little piece of the um, Abigail Rose striped paper, and let's see what my dimensions are for this. Two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I don't usually do the inside, so I was a little bit excited that I did do the inside of the card. Oh, Anne, I'm sorry you're having um, you're having internet issues. I'm sorry. 
I know mine is good this time. I've, my husband has a way to check. And he checked, and it was working just fine. That one day I had trouble, it showed up that there were problems. On He has a way of, of checking, and it showed problems. So I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Okay, and then we're going to put the sentiment, the inside sentiment, right on that little striped piece. And I'll just angle it a tad bit so it looks a little straighter. And there's our card. And then for our envelope, I think what we'll do is let's just go ahead and stamp happy birthday. Why don't we? You know, it's always fun when it's almost your birthday and you get a card and you're thinking it's going to be a happy birthday card. And then maybe it says happy birthday on the outside, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to put that at an angle. Happy birthday. Okay. And so there's our pretty um, little book binding card. I really like this fold. I think it's fun. Um, oh, Colleen, good to see you. Carol, you can't you can't use the the blocks like that. Um, you just you just angle it. But I put my my stamp on at an angle. Let me see if I can show you. Um, I learned that if you put your stamp straight, it, it keeps you from doing it straight. If you put your stamp in an angle, it actually helps you to stamp straighter, they say. I don't know. That's what they say. I still have trouble like all of us do. Okay, let's come back and we will award a prize. Ugh, I'm getting hot. I'm feeling ugh. hot, hot, hot. Even though the temperature is low, the humidity is so high. Okay, the prize this week was a color lifter. We we did some coloring last time and or a time or two ago, and we talked about using the color lifter, which adds a little um, lightness in the, on the inside of something you've colored with a Stampin' Blends. So the color lifter, and I had so many more than ever said prize lots of you. I think I had like 40 people. It was so many. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you watching and supporting my lives. I really do. And the winner was, I haven't seen her today, but Kimberly Colleen. And Kimberly, I don't have your address. I'm going to go back in and message you um, for your address, Kimberly Colleen. And you have two weeks to claim your prize. After two weeks, if I don't hear from you with your address, I put it back in the prize bin. I have a little prize drawer back there, and I put it back in there for the next time. So Kimberly, be sure you let me know your address so I can mail this to you. I just mailed a whole bunch out the other day. Okay, so our prize for next week is, and this is great for the holidays, some Simply Elegant trim. It has um, gold and silver, kind of metallic-ish trim. It's called Simply Elegant Trim in the annual catalog, if you uh, look in there. And this will be the prize that I will award on the 16th, September 16th. So put the word prize either in a comment on YouTube or here on Facebook. Anytime during the week, I don't even look till about an hour before I go live. So anytime you put that word prize, um, I'll pick it up and you'll be entered and I do the random number generator. So I want to thank you all so much for stopping by today and get your relatives, get your friends, get your kids to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I get 2,100 people, and then we'll have that giveaway for the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, you guys have a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you next